the curriculum in our classroom is teaching them about energy and the different sources and things like that and so all of this kind of ties all of that back into one. So uh, the presentation does exactly just reiterates what we are doing in our classrooms with our students. And I help citizens just like each and every one of you understand where electricity comes from, how it gets to our homes and our schools, and how we can make sure that we use it wisely. I can see a light bulb that has been left in a room from over 10 miles away. And I'm also always on the lookout for electricity vampires. You see, these electricity vampires, they're my arch enemies. And if you're not paying attention, they'll waste electricity right before your very eyes. My favorite part of the show is when the vampire comes out because the kids love that and they get to see um, the different the energy that's used for the different appliances and see how someone's wasting it to where I don't think they realize how much they waste daily at home. Come on, everyone knows that one little light bulb, it's not that big of a deal, right? Right? Now, oh, delicious waste of electricity. I think somebody left the refrigerator door open. <laughs> oh. Delicious waste of electricity. You know, I think I'll... Oh, drats. I think I hear that annoying Captain Kirk coming back. I thought it was fun when the kids came up and they had the balls that they passed to each other and learned how fast that energy really flows and they were all flustered and everything was going across the floor and, you know, that was really fun for them. In real life, both types of electricity, are, they're dangerous. That's why we use these as a substitute. So this is what we're gonna do, citizens. Are you ready? You guys are going to be my wire. So we're gonna pass electricity down the wire from one end to the other. So let's scoot together because we don't wanna lose any electricity or energy, do we? No, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pass it to you. What's your name? Jamin. All right, we're gonna pass it to you. And you're gonna pass it on down the line to our last person over here. And what is your name? Cameron. Cameron, all right. And Cameron, you're gonna set it in this black bucket. Now there's a couple rules. If you drop some energy, just leave it on the floor and don't worry about it. You have to go as fast as you can because remember, it's instantaneous. Now audience members, you guys have a super important role in this. Are you ready for your role? Yeah. All right. You need to cheer on your classmates. So don't be afraid to clap and yell and cheer and... Very good. All right. Wire, are you ready? Ready? Set, remember, fast as you can. Okay, go. The demonstrations and the visuals really helped. I'm a visual person, so I thought that it was easier to learn things that way. And I think the kids did too. I'm gonna put on my special Captain Current safety glasses because I wanna be safe. And I'm gonna stand back here and I need everyone to help me count down. So, let's get ready. And we're gonna do this in five, help me, four, three. Oh, wow! Who was, who was a little shocked there? Who was a little bit surprised? I know! And guess what? Who also thought it was pretty cool? Did anyone think that was pretty cool? That's right! That's pretty cool, but guess what? It's also really dangerous. Would you want that to happen at your house? No! So guess what? I need you guys to promise me one thing. Say, Captain Current! I will never overload an outlet. Thank you, citizens. And I would definitely what? recommend this program to another school. I think it's very informative. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this program to other schools. It was very informative, very content-based, um, you know, very specifically designed to teach kids about how energy is produced and utilized. So.